Good day, grade 9 students. So for this week, we're going to have the illustration of the angle of elevation and angle of depression for our Mathematics 9 Quarter 4 Week 3 lesson. So let's start off with our definition of terms. What is this angle of elevation and what is angle of depression? So we have here the definition of line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So when you say line of sight, it is an Im imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer to the object being observed. Then we have two kinds of line of sight, it's either the angle of elevation or the angle of depression. So when you say angle of elevation, it's the angle form from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. So, it's above. Then, the angle of depression is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below. So, this one is below. So, if we're going to illustrate that, so we have here your line of sight, your horizontal line and your angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So, if we are going to illustrate this one, this is our horizontal line and this is our two line of sight so this is our line of sight one and this is our line of sight two so when are we going to know if this is elevation or depression so if it is above Okay, from horizontal to above the line of sight, that is angle of elevation. Elevate. But if it is an angle from the horizontal to the line of sight, below, pag below siya, that is angle of depression. So the horizontal line is a fixed line, the fixed horizontal line, your line of sight is the line of the observer or the sight of the observer. It's either below or above. If it is above, it's an angle of elevation. If it is below, it's angle of depression. Just like this one. Okay, so we have here a tower. Then... This is your horizontal line. So, your horizontal line here, so if we're going to read to this, the horizontal line here is your line AB. Your line of sight, so this is an arrow, so it's line BC, it's a line of sight. Then, this is an angle of eleva elevation because it is above. So, your angle of elevation here, so just going to write the name of the angle. It's angle A, B, C. Okay. So, take, let's take a look at the example from the learner. Let's have the examples from the learner's pocket. So, the term being used here is a line of sight and a line of horizontal line of sight. Although, what we can see from the given figure are angles and angles composed of rays. So, instead of using symbols for lines, we're going to use symbols for rays since the, our given for angles are rays. So, using figure, this one is the third, fourth, and the fifth figure from the development part. Okay. So, we're going to find first the line of sight. The line of sight here on first at uh, the third figure. Let's change the color. Is this one? This is the horizontal line. Okay. This is the horizontal line. So, that means that the horizontal line of sight is your ray O B. So again, baka malito po kayo ang nakalagay line of sight. Pero yung ating nakalagay na, sim na symbol ay uh, ray. Although, an angle composed of intersection of two rays. And then, it, supposedly here, it should be a line. But on the figure, we can see a ray on the 
given figures because they are composed of angles. So we're just going to use symbols for rays. Okay, then for sight, so this must be a ray of sight or line of sight. For this figure, ito ang kanyang sight. Pataas. So that means that our ray is ray O A. So para i-clear po ulit natin. So when you say again the horizontal line, it's a fixed horizontal line. So it's not moving, it's a fixed horizontal line. When you say line of sight, it's either going up, okay, it's either an angle uh, going below or an angle going above. Okay, so in this case, this is an angle going above. So this is an angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation is at angle A, O, B. And then there's no angle of depression. So let's try the second example. Right. So we have here your ray. This is the fixed horizontal line, which is at ray O, X. And then the one below, below, is our ray O, Y. So, since it's below, ba, 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 so it's an angle of depression, which is at angle X, O, Y. And there's no angle of elevation. Then, we have the third. The, ang the line of sight is at, this one is O. So remember, this is O. This is at ray O, P. Then, the depression pa baba ulit, yung bumaba nating line na nakaslant is ray O R. That's R. Okay, pa baba po yan. That's R. So, ray O R. So, there's no angle of elevation since pa baba yan. So, our angle of depression is your angle P O R. Okay, so that's what we're going to use to answer our engagement part. Okay, let's answer the engagement part. So, so for this lesson, what you need to analyze is just what's the difference between your angle of elevation and angle of depression. And you have to learn how to illustrate these figures for the lesson next week. Okay, so we have your figures. We're going to try to answer the first three, and then you're just I will just give you or leave you with the uh, fourth and fifth questions. So in this case, the line of sight, again, it's a horizontal line. So here, it's not illustrated as a ray, but already a segment. So we're going to use a segment here to illustrate. So our horizontal line is at O, A. O, A. Then, the line of sight, yung tumaas, is O, B. Since it's going above, so it's an angle of elevation. So, the angle of elevation is at angle A, O, B. And then, no angle of depression. Next. We have your figure, your airplane, then we have here a house. So, the horizontal line here is your OX. And then, oh, walang nakalagay doon. Then, we have your horizontal line. So, we have O. Just name is as Y, because I cannot see the name of the figure. So, the line of sight is at O, Y. Since it's going down, it's an angle of depression. There's no angle of elevation. The angle of depression is angle X, O, Y. So, so that to be fixed, we start with naming your angles from the horizontal line. Going to the line of sight. Next, we have here O, T, 
T R K. So if we're going to name this angle, so let's just say this is angle T or your side point T. So your line of sight or your horizontal line sight here is your R O or O R. And then your line of sight is O T. So there's no angle of elevation again. And then the angle of depression is at angle R O T. Then let's going to leave you with this uh, two answers. So you're going to have two answers here. You're going to have one line of sight or horizontal, and then you're going to have two line of sights. Okay. So meron ka sagot dito ng angle of elevation and when and then one angle of depression. Okay, kasi this is the angle of elevation here. This is the horizontal line. So, the line of sight is OC. Then, this is angle of elevation. Then, another answer, just use the second line. So, ganyan po itsura niya. So, one horizontal line, then two line of sights. Then, you have, are going to have, I mean, two line of sights. So, you're going to have two line of sights and then you're going to have an answer for elevation and answer for depression. Answer for elevation and then angle answer for depression. Yes, this one. Meron din. So, you're going to have two answers for number four, four and five. Then, for your assimilation, you're just going to express on how you uh, understand the lesson for this week. So, you're just going to answer how did you identify the line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So, you're just going to differentiate. The number two, what ideas have you learned from this activity? So, it's just the difference of elevation and depression. And do you think you could use these ideas in your daily life? You just have to answer that question. And then give and illustrate at least two situations in your life involving angle of elevation and depression. It's just an application of how, how, how you understood the lesson for this week. And the last part is assessment. So for assessment, it's basically drawing. So for those in Tansa Compre, your, this will be your performance pass. So you're going to draw each uh, problem given. This is in preparation for your week 4 to 5 na lesson. So you have to understand how to illustrate. So, I'm just going to give numbers 1, 2, and 3. I'm just going to leave to you 4 and 5 to illustrate it. So, let's start. So, so I'm just going to give the answer for 1, 2, and 3. It's just for the rubrics of this performance task. It's for your cleanliness, the creativity, the neatness, for your work, for each number. So, you just have to have 5 drawings here. So, ito lang po yung papahirap for this tweet. So, madali yung engagement part. So, for the assessment part, it will take time for you to draw. Okay, let's start. So, an angle of elevation from the top of the building from a point 30 meters away from the building is 65 degrees. Okay, so we have a building. I'm sorry for my illustration. It's not straight. So, for example, you have a building there. Tandahan na lang po ng drawing. Then, you have to illustrate each given. So, it's an angle of elevation from one point. So, this is the angle of elevation, which is... 65 degrees. Then, from a point 30 meters away. So, this is the distance from the building to that point. So, that this is the 30 meters. So, yeah. So, you just have to draw each problem. For number two, the angle of the depression of a boy from a point on a lighthouse so, there's a lighthouse. So, 
So, there's a boy on the lighthouse. Then, we'll, there will be 30.5 meters above the surface of the water. So, this one is 30.5 meters. Then, we have the angle of depression. So, you have to show first the horizontal line. So, this is the horizontal line. Then, the angle of depression. So, pababa. And that is 3 degrees. So, hindi naman po ganyan-ganyan yung drawing. Pagkagandahin nyo syempre yung drawing. Just have to illustrate it this way. You have to show the given. And then, the angle of depression and elevation on each part. Then, number 3. If an airplane that is crossing at an at altitude of 9 kilometers wants to land on a it must begin its descent so that the angle of depression to the airport is 7 degrees. So, pababa dapat yung airplane. So, for example, nandito si Naiya. This is the Naiya airport. And then, the horizontal line. Then, the angle of depression. Okay. So, 9 kilometers. So, from 9 kilometers. Then, the angle of depression is 7 degrees. Nandito si airplane. Just draw your own airplane. <laughs> so, there's an airplane and then it must descend 7 uh, degrees for angle of depression. It is 9 kilometers away. Okay, you may draw your own na here. Okay, so that's how you're going to illustrate. So, you have to draw. Okay, you have to do draw each number. So, what's left with you is just numbers 4 and 5. And then, you just have to write your reflection. Okay, so that's all for this week. So I hope you can understand. Show your answers and draw all the illustrations for your angle of elevation and angle of depression. So again, see you again next week and enjoy learning. Goodbye and God bless.